So, guys, to continue uh, basically with a uh, review of certain things, I remember when I did the video of heroes that should get their own ongoing new or ongoing series, I saw a lot of people respond with the Sentinel of the Spaceways, of course, uh, Silver Surfer. And basically, uh, I'm here to review the first issue of this mini series uh, the all new beginning for the silver surfer uh this was good this was really good um for all those who were looking for a good silver surfer story standalone story by himself this is really good uh it was written by greg pock the you know the the man that brought the likes of planet hulk and is still rocking great on hulk now um, the artist was um, artist is Stephen uh, Sagova. So I'm I'm so bad with uh, names like this. Sagova. I hope I'm saying his name right. Uh, the first issue brings basically Surfer back to Earth. You know, it seems like no matter how far Surfer goes, he can travel all over the universe. He always comes back to a world that kind of you know he was once a hero there is also he's still a stranger but he always comes back and we see him traveling the earth as well coming back and talking about you know basically how earth is you know it's got its gods and monsters it's got its heroes and villains and things like this and he still feels that he's still a stranger he still has much to learn how the po power cosmic he can feel everything, you know, there's like, uh, for example, there's a scene in the, in the book where he's near the, I guess the borderline of Mexico and the United States. And he sees a couple and, and he basically says the power cosmic allows me to sense and feel sense their every sing, single sensation of love in their body. However, I can't feel it. It's almost like basically he's saying that, you know, with all the godlike powers that Surfer possesses, Norn Rad, he can't really feel like he used to anymore. And he talks about, as well as about, yes, he's still a herald for Galactus. He's back to being a herald for Galactus. And he even talks about my master's not calling me right now. So basically, basically, literally, he's saying I have some time off. I can, I can, uh, you know, do what I want to do until he needs me. Uh, but once again, I think this is another plea, another thing for Marvel doing, once again, doing this to bring, uh, not just to bring in more fans for the surfer, but to see if, if this limited series, this five part limited series does well. Now, um, under Axel Alfonso's lead, you know, we might just get a new Surfer ongoing series. Uh, the, 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 it didn't have really too many big, like, known ca characters except one, and I really don't want to spoil it, but let's just say, uh, Let's just say this character, I'll give you a hint of the character. His, his initials are H-E, and this character takes something from the surfer at the end of the book, which leaves it on a cliffhanger, and you're like, whoa, what the, like, when I read that, I was like, oh, sh like, oh, holy shit, like, you know, you, you um, could this be, you know what, you know, there's a cliffhanger at the end of this book that you just look at it like, man, like, wow, I can't believe that happened. I didn't know that this character had that kind of ability to do that. You know, I'm not going to give away the character that did something to the surfer. Uh, but if anything gives you a clue that the, the, the cover should give you a clue who's in it. But it was a really good, very good. I was really looking forward to this when I heard that they were bringing out Surfer again. I'm a big Surfer fan. I love Surfer. 
uh, and to see him back in the limelight is good for me. Uh, so I give this a very good out of out of five. I give this a, a five out of five actually. Uh, it was really good. Uh, very good. Good storytelling. Greg Park did a very good job at writing Surfer. Um, he didn't write him too soap opery like some writers have because. In my opinion, Surfer is a very hard character to write for. He's a very hard character because most writers will go down that that route of always having the the view the the reader feel sorry for Surfer. Sometimes, like have him, we you know we got to understand his pain, you know, and that's good in some way. But you got to have a balance. You know what I mean? You don't always have to have him being like, okay, yeah, we we feel Surfer. We feel we feel. Uh, what what's going on, Surfer? Um, we understand, but uh, but basically, I feel that uh, this was a good book. This is a very good book, and if if you want to read this, check it out. The once again, issue two comes out next week. Almost done. Um. But uh, other than that, guys, you tell me what you thought about this book. If you liked it, give me give me your thoughts. If do you feel that this is a good way for Marvel to bring Surfer back into his own ongoing series? But uh, other than that, guys, you know I will continue to uh, review this book for for all five issues. And once again, other than that, guys, this is Marvel and Kid saying peace, one love, stay tuned. You guys take it easy.